The opening of the first section of the South Gippsland Railway Line in 1888 from the then country town of Dandenong to the coastal fishing village of Turidan was a triumphant time for the previously isolated people of South Gippsland. But the mighty Victorian railways didn't stop there. With octopus acts afoot, the line was extended and extended over the years with the eventual terminus becoming Woodside in 1923. Over the years, various other lines were created that branched off from the main railway line, such as the Wonthaggy branch line and the Strasleki branch line, to name a few. The line saw regular passenger services for over a century, linking the many bustling farming communities on its route to Melbourne. <laughs> The line saw good services of all kinds, including oil trains servicing the Barry Beach Marine Terminal and sand trains from the Australian glass manufacturer's quarry in Nyora. The line was also a critical tool in helping farmers quickly get their fresh produce and dairy goods to the distant markets in Melbourne in just hours, not days, via horse and cart. In later years, the railway also helped farmers by bringing them train loads worth of superphosphate to fertilise their crops. Every town along the expansive line received enormous growth upon the arrival of the railway. This is celebrated through the impressive architectural landmarks that still stand reminding current residents of the enchanting era of steam, iron, fire and the once mighty VR. Just as fast as it rose, it began to fall. In 1953, the section from Woodside to Yarram was permanently closed, inadvertently foreshadowing the beginning of the slow decline of the railway as easily accessible road transport began to rise to prominence around the world. Rail services continued, however, with dwindling patronage. Just as the line was expanded and expanded, it shrunk and shrunk. In 1981, passenger services to Yarram were withdrawn, which was notable in being the last mixed goods and passenger train of the Victorian Railways. Freight continued to Yarram until 1987 when the section from Welshpool to Yarram was permanently closed. Welshpool to Leangartha was next, closing in 1992 after traffic that supplied the Bass Strait oil fields dried up. Despite outcries, on Saturday the 24th of July 1993, the final ever V-Line passenger rail service to Leangartha ran, ceasing 105 years of passenger services on the railway line. A small section of the track from the then recently electrified suburban Cranbourne station to the AGM siding in Nyora was used for sand freight until movement ceased on the 25th of January 1998, thus closing a 110 year chapter of Victorian history. It was the end of the line. With many public calls and hollow government promises for reopening the line and the simultaneous rise and fall of the South Gippsland Tourist Railway, the track still lay dormant from Cranbourne onwards. Some sections have been revitalised and converted into a rail trail and some have just been ripped up and forgotten. Laying at the outer licks of a once seemingly impossible never-ending southeastern sprawl, the rusted heat buckled tracks lay silently as a reminder of our once great southern railway.